Here's the fuel cell. I'm going to be uh, taking it apart and cleaning it all up. The lid's off and the plate's off, obviously. I'm going to pull that old foam out and put some new fuel cell foam in there. Some various fittings and new gaskets underneath on the sawhorses. See the fill plate and the pickup, some nuts and bolts. And I got a bag full of new foam here. So we'll get started on cleaning this up. This old fuel cell foam's still flexible and all, but it's a little crunchy. Time to replace it. little shards and stuff down in here to get the vacuum out vacuum it out and then wipe it down with a good cleaner install the new fuel cell foam Got some simple green here. Wipe it down real good. start stuffing some new foam in there. Okay, here's my new pickup. It's got a swivel on this end and a kind of a funnel and a screen inside. I'm just gonna stick this down in here and wedge it under the foam. Okay, it feels like it's in there pretty good. Okay, next I've got the fill plate here. I've got to put some fittings in these holes. Not all of them are uh, going to have fittings in them, so I'll have to put plugs in them. I've got some fittings and stuff to put into this fill plate. 
This is the uh, fitting for the pickup hose. This is a dash eight bulkhead fitting. We've got a fitting, two washers, one on each side of the plate, and then a nut that goes on underneath to tighten it all up. This is going to be a return from the fuel injection. Same deal, it's a bulkhead fitting. Fitting, two washers and a nut. This is a dash six line. Now I've got a uh, rollover valve here. This is like a vent for the fuel cell. Again, it's a bulkhead fitting. You've got a nut and some sealing washers. And if you can hear that, there's a ball in here. You may be able to see it. And it sits in a fuel cell like this. The ball's down so that fumes and stuff can vent through these holes up and out your vent. But if you roll over, the ball, the ball rolls down and seals the hole so that fuel can't flow out the vent line. Okay, next, so this is the top of the fuel plate, this is the bottom, this is where the fuel goes in and out. I have a flapper valve, which installs on here, and so when the fuel cell's sitting there, normally, when you put fuel in or need to dip stick it, you just, the flapper will flop down. But in case of an accident, you flip over, this flapper valve closes, and that keeps fuel from flowing out the calf, say in an accident, if the calf gets knocked off. So I've got these uh, bolts and nylon washers that come in from the top, of course, and the flapper. Backup plate here 
to hold the rubber in, in place. And then I'll put a couple nylock nuts on there. Okay, I'll tighten up these nuts on the flapper valve. Okay, so now I've got a couple more holes I gotta fill. So I'm just gonna put some bulkhead fittings in with a cap on them. Okay, got another dash eight for this big hole here. The washer on there. Washer on the back side. And a nut. Got a dash uh, six bulkhead fitting for this other hole. Some ceiling washers on her. And the nut. Since I won't be using these fittings right now, I just put a uh, cap on it. It's the dash six cap right there. Get the dash eight cap. There it is. My fuel pickup, my rollover valve fitting, and my fuel return fitting. These two are just capped off. Now it's ready to install on the fuel cell. <laughs>